hello my friends and welcome to my first um video that i like have shot not ever obviously <laughs> but for youtube it's very exciting um i've been drawing a lot lately as kind of a nice therapeutic activity um as you're going to see i'm not good and i don't claim to be good but i think it's really fun for me and it's been um just something nice to do for myself and I really have enjoyed it and it's given me some peace of mind in these crazy days so I decided that maybe it would be fun to do a video where I just kind of draw while I talk about stuff um but yeah that's my disclaimer I'm not an artiste I am just getting started like I literally have had this iPad for like a year or so barely used it uh, between us two but um, I've been watching a lot of cool art content on YouTube and I got kind of inspired to make my own stuff so uh, I got an Apple pencil for as an early birthday gift and I got procreate and I've been messing around with it for like a couple days now and I really like it every night I've just been taking some time to draw and kind of clear my mind um, so yeah, I decided to do this video because I like couldn't think of content to do that wasn't overwhelming and scary to me and this seemed completely reasonable, even though it's scary in the sense that people are going to watch this video and be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> but like, we're all having fun. It's fine. It's fine. Um, anyway, the theme of this one, as you can probably tell, is video games. So what I did was I'm drawing four characters from games that I'm currently playing. Um, this one is Fall Guys. And what? They're, I don't even have enough words to talk about. I, I, <laughs> I don't have the words to describe my relationship to this game. I first got it um, from a streamer friend of mine who ha had the beta keys to give out on stream. And so she kindly sent me some. Um, and yeah, I played it a bit then, and I loved it, but for a second I was like, I don't know if I like it enough to like, you know, buy it. <laughs> Especially because uh, I have a PlayStation, and it it's free on the PlayStation f store, where it's on, huh? free on the PlayStation store for all of August. I don't know when this video will go up, but I'm sorry if it's too late and you missed it. Um, but since I had it for free on the PlayStation, I was like, I don't want to get it on the PC, but I ended up getting it on the PC because I started to want to play on stream and not have to move my thing over and do the capture card and all that bullshit. So yeah, anyway, I've been obsessed with Fall Guys. I got one crown and it was the best experience of my tiny little life. Um, it was amazing. It was like my third time playing, uh, after the, I, like, on the actual game and I was on stream luckily and it's in one of my it's in my clips if you want to see it um but yeah I got a crown it was like really crazy and it felt really amazing that it was a flex and I got to do it in front of people that was my favorite part <laughs> um it wasn't just like something I did in my living room I was like oh thank god people saw this now I have proof of being a pro gamer <laughs> um but yeah so obviously one of the best parts is the beautiful, magnificent skins that one can wear in this video game. However, I do not have um, what it takes to draw those. So I just drew a simple, simple fall guy here. Um, and as you saw, I started with like a light green and then I was like, this looks kind of bad. Um, so I made it pink instead, which is better. I wanted like this whole thing to have like a comprehensive uh, color palette that didn't happen at all. They look quite bad all together. Like <laughs> in retrospect, I should have just made them like one by one different things, but that's not what happened. Um, and then I don't know how familiar you guys are with Procreate, but um, I'm pretty unskilled at it. <laughs> and I don't completely get everything that you can do or like what the most efficient way to do things is hence why I'm like literally like 
drawing over a line that I already drew. I understand like layer stuff because I understand like Photoshop, but you know, I'm very lazy in Photoshop. So sometimes I forget and here too, sometimes I forget to like make a new layer. So what happened here was I accidentally drew my line art layer uh, and then I forgot to make a new layer to paint over it. So I, I just, I did, I did the first line for no reason is what I'm getting at. Um, but yeah, it was really fun to do this cause you know, they're, they're fairly simple looking and like, I feel like my, um, understanding of what a fall guy can look like, it's, it's like pretty liberal. Like as long as they kind of look like a blob with like a circle for a face and like two eyeballs, like it's a fall guy <laughs> in my personal opinion. So um, yeah, I mean, this one, that's why I started with this one. And then because um, I believe in manifesting, I drew a crown next to it. Um, as you can see here, I tried to like get fancy with it and do like glimmering, but it doesn't, it doesn't work. You'll see that in a second. And then um, also, what was I gonna say? Uh, I, again, new to Procreate, but since I watch a lot of art YouTube content, I found, um, I found the out that you can buy brushes. So I did that because I'm obsessed with spending money. Um, so I bought some packs, I'll link them, but this is one of the watercolor packs, um, that I got. So yeah, I tried to do that, tried to make a crown. It's okay. You'll see later, I have to add another um, layer t of yellow to it because I changed the background and uh, it just doesn't work as well, quite as well. Also, there's a thunderstorm here and like a million other loud things classically, so ignore that. Um, but yeah, so then uh, I'll just let some like music happen for a while here. I write it will be mine and then um, I quickly decide it won't be mine I like stop liking it very shortly also I was drinking an amazing boba tea um, I got an oolong with the uh, IU jelly and boba pearls it was an amazing treat uh, shout out shout out the boba place um, and yeah for the rest of this drawing I'm gonna let it I'm gonna let it rock although I think it's over in like two seconds um, but I'm gonna drink water so yeah <laughs> So I tried to like enjoy some intuitive design with the premiere like voiceover option. It's pretty shitty, uh, so I, I've changed audio recording methods. So sorry about the first half, but I really didn't want to really didn't want to re-record that because I kind of talked a lot. So um, just know from here on out, I I'm wiser, I know more, and I won't make the same mistakes again. Okay. Also, another note on Fall Guys, I just remembered. It's the thing I'm really loving about it is that it's like reconnected me with people that I don't normally play games with. And I feel like this is like so lame, but I do think it's kind of hard to keep in touch with people when you don't play games with them. <laughs> like, I think it, like, playing games with people is just such like a stress free way to like keep in touch. Cause like, there's like a visual and like mental stimulus stimuli there are stimuli <laughs> and i don't know it just makes it easier it like kind of takes the load off um or like the pressure off of needing to like come up with like random shit to talk about it's like okay we're actively doing something and then in between that we can have real people conversations um so anyway i've been loving that about fall guys because it's i'm playing with some friends that i don't normally play games with who like i I'm really sad about not keeping in touch with as much, but it's also like, I, I don't know. I don't know what to talk about sometimes. I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. <laughs> to, Cole, to quote Cole Sprouse or Dylan Sprouse, whatever one of them. Okay, so it's time for me to talk about this um, that I'm drawing right now. It's a little tragic, 
and I know that you know that just by taking the gander because I really love Genji from Animal Crossing since March I've been playing Animal Crossing um, it's been probably one of the most fun games to play on stream I've met such wonderful people you know it attracts a good community so I'm a great people playing Animal Crossing I'm kind of like out of inspo right now because I'm out of items and I'm like too lazy to like make items at the workbench um so I just haven't really been playing as much which is my B but um yeah anyway I love Genji he's excellent however however <laughs> I I don't I do not do him justice here this is like the part of like my recording process where I was like maybe I just should maybe I just shouldn't upload this like it's so embarrassing maybe I should just like leave it alone um I also spent like at least 15 minutes trying to get the eyes to look normal they absolutely do not like I it comes out like fruitless the only like success I have if you could even say that is that they're like relatively the same size which took me that long to do um I just need to really practice making things like symmetrical because <laughs> it's not working um and then so i guess for like the process that i'm trying to do in general um i've again i've been watching a lot of people who do digital art on like procreate and stuff like that look at that line wow did i keep that <laughs> see it's like chad jaw tell me i delete it i hate myself anyway um so yeah doing like a, a sketch layer underneath i know some people are doing i think it's probably smarter i'm just so lazy doing the sketch layer as like a like more concrete just like a really faithful guide for the rest of it i do not do that my sketch layer kind of looks like shit like it looks like a sketch and then what i go in with like the the uh what's it called oh god oh god uh, the mono line I'll, I'll put it I'll write a thing on the screen I think it's called that I've clicked on that button like 80 times today and I'm like what is it anyways um that thing <laughs> and then that one is where I try to be like a little more neat um I'm also just generally not like a neat person really I'm like a perfectionist in my own ways but not in any way that's like productive to anything so um yeah which you'll see because i i like try to do these i just give up i just i just stop caring about the accuracy of the i was i just couldn't take it anymore at some point um but yeah i am ashamed of this one i was like should i take it out but then it's in the final product so it'd be like what is this random genji and i knew i would have to address it so you live and learn I think like I'm so new to this I don't even like understand what's wrong with it I just know it looks like shit <laughs> like okay I'm seeing that his like lumpy jaw is like certainly problematic um amongst some other things but like I, I like why didn't I fix that I like have such <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm looking at it now I'm just like girl what you didn't notice that I was lost in the sauce this took me this all this like little project took me like two hours <laughs> everything takes me so long because I'm so new and I'm still like figuring out the tools and whatever and like just like generally like trying to be like I'm not trying to like you know make it into the MoMA currently like I'm just trying to like have a little fun while I can talk about my video games but um yeah this was a bit of a mess also you're gonna notice I guess if you scrub through this that the light shifts quite a bit um that's a thing mostly because the sun was setting and I didn't think of that I started this like way later than I wanted to because I was intimidated also I have a new camera lens coming tomorrow which I'm like so excited about I haven't gotten myself a lens in like three years um and like I don't know I don't know who's watching this but um my main thing that I do is like camera stuff and like film um so yeah i'm basically really excited it's a 35 millimeter prime lens and it is autofocus which i currently don't have and also it's my first uh native sony lens that isn't a kit lens i have a sony a7 which i got like last year i have barely used it i'm ashamed to say 
<laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I have that and I've always wanted a native Sony lens because, you know, right now I have like a, an adapter called the Metabones and all this other shit and like it just makes the camera really like bulky and heavy and like it's cumbersome. Oh, <laughs> this is Elliot showing me his like lasagnas and a carrot he gave me. He was like, it looks like your pinky. Um, anyway, enjoy that. <laughs> Uh, I was like, when did that happen again? I knew it happened when I was recording, obviously, but as I was scrubbing through, I couldn't find it. The show and tell goes on, people. Look at that pasta, though. He's amazing. The talent. Look at that. <laughs> Fuck my drawing. Um, but anyway, can I curse? I'm not even like monetized, so I don't think it matters. <laughs> uh, YOLO, baby. Anyway, uh, this Genji is like actually disgusting. But I just got him to move on to my island because uh, my friend Molly kindly sent me his amiibo all the way from California. Beautiful person. Love her. Molly, for watching this. We love you. Um, and yeah, again, me not knowing how to do things. I do not know why. There's something I did wrong with the layers here, too, that made this issue that I'm having right now. Because, like, if not, why else wouldn't I just like put the blue watercolor layer under? But I did like something else wrong. Oh, it was that, okay. So I painted his face. I like made like, I did like a white watercolor on his face. But um, I think I did the eyes on the same layer, like a dumbass. But again, you know, we're just learning. Like you, you're watching me, you're watching me learn a little something, okay? So we have fun. <laughs> we have a good time. Um, but anyway, I, th I was like, I'm going to talk about the games. I like haven't said anything. Anyway, we love Animal Crossing, obviously. Uh, we love Genji. Dom is like the best villager, but like, I don't really want to try to make him because I know it's going to be like a disaster. I would have to try that in like the, I'd have to try that in the safety of my own home with no eyes on it and like practice for months before having a public drawing of Dom anywhere. <laughs> it's too embarrassing for me. Um, but yeah, I don't think I finished the sentence, but what I was saying was I made a... I've been trying to do like uh, clay pen stuff and I made one of Genji <laughs> and it looks exa like it looks fucked up just like this one. Like I didn't learn anything. I didn't learn anything. I thought it would be like kind of easier. I am proud of this part, the little eyebrows. Once I like actually get it right, I'm like, I'm proud of like my my choice of watercolor for it because I think it like adds something cool. I everything else I hate, but I also you know actually I kind of like his ears, the like texture there. I just hate his face. I just I'm bad at it. Anyway, I don't know what happened to the video, but <laughs> we missed this part. But now there are green squiggly lines that I added. Um, so there's that. So the next thing I drew, or well, person, is Cloud Strife, the true MVP, the the Chad, the Chad of the video game universe, all games, um, because I recently played the Final Fantasy VII remake. Frankly, I was obsessed. I cried every time. I watched a let's play of like someone I follow <laughs> on Twitch. Uh, the other day playing it and I just cried again while watching her let's play she didn't even like the game she was like really mad about the ending and I was still like living my own little fantasy and I was like oh this game is so beautiful <laughs> um anyway so that inspired me to play the original because obviously I know it's a classic and I was like at this point I am so invested in this story like, I absolutely have to know what happens to these people also, I want to know why people are mad about the remake, because um, of course I didn't really get it. And so, yeah, like, I went for it <laughs> and I started playing it. I'm decently far in, I'm not going to say anything just because of like spoilers, but I'm like 15 hours in. Um, and it definitely is like a very different experience than the remake, like just in terms of the original game you do everything in the remake which is what like a 30 hour game or so maybe a little longer might have been like 35 hours for me um everything you do in those 35 hours is like the first four hours of the original um which obviously people know but yeah it's kind of shocking because then the original is like 
40 hours? So like, going on that timeline, there's gonna have to be like, literally like 50 parts <laughs> if they want to like, stay faithful to it. So I don't think they will. I was also watching some guys speculate that, um, what's it called? That Square Enix isn't gonna like, have enough money to make all the parts. So either they're thinking there's either gonna be like, one more part or two more parts at most. Again, this is some like random guy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like taking this as Bible, but like it seemed kind of legit because they were talking about like how like digital sales um, of the game accounted for like so much more than they thought it would. Um, so yeah, anyway, they uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I hope they can do it justice because it's really a very cool story so far. And I'm like, not even I haven't even like gotten to the plot twist, you know. Like, <laughs> there's still so much for me to see. Um, but yeah, so I drew Cloud here, and like, I guess more like a chibi style, just because like, <laughs> I couldn't think of like an advanced way to do it. I don't really think I drew him in like a style that I like, like, I don't dislike it. I just like, this probably isn't how I would draw him if I had like mastery of like my own output right now if that makes sense i kind of had to look up like cloud you see me like turning to my pc which is like next to where i am here um which is where i'm looking for like reference photos and stuff like that during this and um yeah i looked up like cloud lion art and i was like extremely scared of spoilers <laughs> the whole time basically um but yeah anyway you get it I did this because it was like one of the easier looking styles to draw him in and like I, I you know I saw someone do something similar and I was like you know this looks enough like him like I know who this is which is like sometimes all you need um and then you as you can see here I tried to draw his body which I later said bye bye to because I was like girl I can't do this because he, I was trying to do like, <laughs> it's, I don't think it's the soldier uniform. I don't know, because somebody drew him in like a uniform that like didn't really make sense, but it like clicked to me more as like something to draw. But yeah, I mean, he wears like the sleeveless turtleneck moment with like that plate. And I was like, I can't really do this. So I end up getting rid of his body. Um, what I did like was drawing the buster sword. I thought that was actually very fun. And I think it's iconic and beautiful and there's a scene with it in the remake that made me cry. Again, I just really cried like a fuck down during that game <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, uh, I am really loving it and I'm excited to see where that story goes. I absolutely love JRPGs. They own my heart. So yeah, it's great. And I want to do maybe another one of these where I do like my all-time favorite game characters. Hopefully when I'm like a little better <laughs> at drawing. But we'll see. I wouldn't count on it, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, anyway. I sorry I'm like swallowing so much if you can hear that. I'm sure you can. Mics are too good these days. Um, but yeah, I had fun with this. I thought it was like fun to experiment. Again, I like I'm like literally drawing baby. <laughs> um and so it is fun to experiment with different styles and look at different things. I feel like I just like consume a lot of the of like a similar style um so it's kind of tempting to want to draw things that way but i you know i think it comes down to what you find fun what you what you think gives you the most area to move within stuff like that so yeah obviously i'm just still trying to figure that all out um hopefully you'll be here for my journey i definitely want to do more of these just because again they're fairly simple and like not intimidating for me to record and I don't have to like because I don't mind like being like obviously I'm like in this video but I'm not like having to talk to the camera of course it's not like a huge problem because I stream um but I don't know I don't know I just kind of like this how this feels because I just get to do my little voiceover and I'm like if I have to have a take two I have a take two it's fine see there I delete his body I said no more <laughs> I knew my limits I was like this looks like shit <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm gonna play a little music while I finish my cloud, um, cause, yeah, I think I've- I just- I, I just can't talk about the game too much cause, you know, the remake is still fairly new and I'm not done with the original, so, yeah, I'm just- I'm just loving it. I think it's a really cool and unique story, a real feat in storytelling and, like, 
the characters are all built out really wonderfully and yeah i'm just i'm i'm very sucked in um but yeah enjoy my buster sword finishings I'm back, baby! <laughs> Sooner than you thought, I'm sure. Anyway, I'm back because I wanted to brag about um, how proud I am of my Buster Sword. Also, I, like half the footage isn't there for that. I don't know what happened. I think maybe my camera is one of those that only records for like 30 minute intervals. I know my last camera was like that, um, which was the Sony a7S one. I was like very familiar with that camera. This one's still like a little bit uncharted territory for me. Um, but yeah, whatever. You see it. It's filled in. I'm proud of it. I think it's cute. I'm sorry. And I really like this uh the like uh brush I used on the sword. Um I'll put the name on screen, but it's cool. It has like little holes in it that gives kind of a more natural feeling. I feel like right now I'm just kind of torn between like, do I like watercolor? Do I like a more like crayony like aerated uh surface look i don't know i love my material though look at them they look amazing yeah like this isn't here either i colored it in purple i mean you didn't miss anything but whatever so moving on <laughs> i'm also playing and this is a game i'm playing right now on stream the most uh which is breath of the wild i'm like approximately 10 million years late to this um this is like the first game i got a switch so i got elliot the switch um like when it first came out for his birthday i got it from like some guy on craigslist who i guess had it for like a week and was like uh. <laughs> so big ups to that guy i had to travel to sunset park um but like good times good guy uh anyway we have that guy switch and you know breath of the wild obviously one of the big like release games from the switch but uh I don't know, I tried it a couple times, and I am like a Zelda game fan. I'm not like a god, like I haven't played all of them, but like, you know, I played the classics, played Ocarina like three times, Majora's Mask, uh, Link's Awakening, whatever. And so I was excited, rightfully. I like the franchise, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm a Virgo, so like open world doesn't always super appeal to me. I don't like dislike it. Um, but I just, I kind of just like hadn't played a game that isn't super structured. Again, like, I love JRPGs and uh, I love having like an objective and like, you will do this now, you will do this now. I know that makes me sound like an unimaginative loser, but like, I do like that kind of structure in my life. Um, but anyway, uh, one of my best friends, Ilsa, was playing Breath of the Wild. She really convinced me to to give it a go. I mean, along with some other people from stream and stuff who really love the game. And I was like, you know what? Why not? I have it. I'll give it a go. And then he looks like Gumby here also, this Korok. I think it's very funny. I was like, oh, Gumby. Um. Anyway, I was like, whatever. I'll give it a go. Frick it. Um, and so, yeah, anyway, I gave it a go. Turns out I stay on. A lot I think it's really fun and for me it's like filling the need for like a casual game 
that like I don't know Animal Crossing sometimes doesn't because again I do need like an objective and like I feel a bit aimless in that game sometimes not to be like a poser but like I feel a bit aimless sometimes like that's why I like villager hunting a lot because I'm like okay I have an objective and it's just like a fun thing to do with chat and it's like hype when you actually get the villager and it's just like it's just like a you know thing to pass the time and so I kind of wanted something like that but with a little more of a clear objective and it turns out that after my like three failed attempts of not getting past the tutorial area Breath of the Wild is that very thing for me so I'm really loving it it a couple times a week um and yeah it's been really fun to play with everybody too because again my chat knows everything i don't need google and it's just been a little bit iconic honestly um i really like it and i feel like i'm gonna play it for a long time i don't know if i'm gonna like 100 percent it because that's a lot but i definitely do want to put a good amount of effort into it you know um also okay here <laughs> i got like these um I'm very- I love textures. I'm not like good at using them at all, but I like it conceptually. I'm like, oh, the texture is cool. The textures, I like it. Um, and so I like kind of go like buck wild with the textures at this point. I'm telling you, these things just like shouldn't have all been on the same page. Like, <laughs> I should have put them on like different pages. <laughs> I like went crazy, but whatever. It's like a very chaotic and ugly piece altogether, but like, you know, there's like a narrative I was like trying to do. Anyway, one of the textures is called sprinkles and it's like literally little confettis. I'll like put a picture, I'll like overlay it, um, but I have a picture of, I, I drew ditto with a birthday cake like last night and I really loved it. And I found that sprinkles texture and I was like, oh my God, wig. Like it just looked perfect for the birthday cake and now I really like it. And I think it fits for the fall guy too. Um, hate what I did with the background of cloud here. <laughs> I just didn't know how to differentiate them. I don't know. You see, this is my problem. Also, they're all very different styles again. I would say maybe like the Korok and like the fall guy makes sense. Cloud's really throwing me for a loop. I think the buster sword kind of fits in. I should have just like left it at that. The Genji, we I should have just like burned in a fire. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't deserve that. He really doesn't. But whatever. Again, it's an experience. Also, it's like so dark in this video at this point, but whatever. The iPad is still properly exposed, which makes me happy, I guess. I tried to color it a little bit, but it's not really working. Um, but yeah, I like the textures. They're very fun. Look at all those. Look at all those. And yeah, it's just been fun to experiment with those because I think they do add like a dimension especially when you do it like on top of a watercolor or something um again i don't know anything so <laughs> you don't have to listen to me but this is just my experience also look at all those layers i think i should group them wait i just remembered you could do that i'm being so crazy they're all <laughs> this is like a mess if anyone who actually uses procreate watches this they're gonna be like jesus christ um and then i realized at some point that i hate the brown layer but i scrubbed through this earlier and i couldn't find it but i think i get rid of it also i'm proud of this like last minute decision to have a light thing but anyway thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey i hope you liked this video please let me know if you did uh and thanks for supporting my amateur drawings and please subscribe if you like me <laughs> bye